What's the problem with the tail vise? Well, you have to potentially turn the screw to span the full distance between your bench dogs. Of course, you could just have your dog holes spaced closer together, but I don't like a ton of holes in my bench top. Mine are about six inches apart, and I wouldn't want to go any closer than that personally. I'm actually pretty lucky in this regard because with my inset vise, there's two locations for the dog. So I never have to span this full distance. At most, I have to span only half of that distance. But what if I could cut that distance in half again? Then no matter what board I put on here, a couple turns of the screw and it's gonna be locked in place. It'd be a huge time saver and that's exactly what these new bench dogs do. They're super easy to make, check this out. This scrap of walnut's pretty narrow, it's gonna work perfect. To round this over, I knock off the corners. I set it in there and hit it with a scrub plane. There may be some other ways to do this that work better, but this worked pretty good. I would do it like this again if I needed to. Five passes with a scrub plane on each corner and it turns into an octagon. And I actually just left mine as an octagon. I did not round it over to make it uh, circular. And next I make the head of the dog. That term may not be correct, but I'm going with it. This one has a corner that tore out during the cross cut, so I'm gonna thin this one out. This, I'm making two. One's gonna be a little thicker, one's gonna be a little thinner. This one's gonna be the thinner one. I undercut all four edges on the bench dog head, which helps it work better when it's under clamping pressure. This was not my favorite way of doing it, so be sure to see how I do the next one. This worked much better and you can see compared to the other one, I went a little bit overboard on that thinner one. It's a little bit too angled, but that's okay. It's gonna work just fine. With only glue on the end grain, this would pop right off in a heartbeat. So I'm gonna reinforce this with a dowel. I'm a big fan of dowel plates for things like this. They don't make perfect dowels, but they do make quick dowels.
This is called the finger method depth guesser. You save your blue tape. Here's the dimensions for mine. The important part is that it's longer than it is wide. I don't know if I technically did all the math to fully optimize this or not, but it seems to work pretty well and I kind of have a life rule of not letting thinking too hard about something get in the way of actually getting things done. And now I've got three points of adjustment. I can change the dog hole location on the bench, the dog location on the vise, or just quickly rotate the dog itself. I don't think I've ever really been excited about bench dogs, but I think these are so cool, so clever. Uh, I love it. Not only are they easy to make, if you want a thinner one, you could make a thinner one, or you could just plane this one down. Stick it in, plane it down. Don't worry about hitting it with your plane, it's solid wood. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you on the next video.